NASCAR has absolutely failed at promoting their new NASCAR Cup Series champion in Ryan Blaney. At a time when NASCAR has a massive star problem, NASCAR marketing has completely failed the sport with their media tour uh, with their new champion this week in New York City. On Tuesday, NASCAR took Ryan Blaney to do the rounds, or so we thought, in New York City. And instead of hitting all of the big shows, and putting him out in front of audiences that potentially haven't seen him before, they kind of seem to do the bare minimum, which is really unfortunate. So if you looked and followed along, Ryan Blaney visited the Empire State Building, which has a decent social following, but is not exactly like putting him out in front of, you know, a, a completely new audience. And while the photo ops look great, it's kind of eh. They then had him go and do Live with Kelly and Mark, which, if you're trying to capture the dentist office waiting room demo, you probably just did it right there. But other than that, that's not exactly a high-profile show. And who is Mark, even? They then had him do Barstool's NASCAR podcast, the same podcast that NASCAR pays for through a brand deal that they've done with Barstool. Again, not exactly capturing a whole new audience, unless, of course, they're going to pay Barstool to promote him on their main social accounts, which they could still do, but if it's only going to be promoted on the Barstool NASCAR podcast, that's not exactly reaching a new audience. And they had him go do the NASDAQ, which is great. He got this great photo with himself and uh, the video board behind him. And he was out there before the pigeons even woke up. So didn't exactly get his face in front of many other people. Uh, it just felt very underwhelming. And instead of getting him onto the two biggest morning shows that your TV partners have, they didn't do any of that. It's unfathomable to me that you didn't get him onto the Today Show or onto Fox and Friends, or even both. And listen, I get it. The demo that NASCAR's trying to capture probably isn't watching either of those shows, specifically like Fox and Friends. But the Today Show has a million and a half followers on TikTok. They have just as many on Instagram. That is a show that you go and do, and then your clips get tweeted out, posted, shared, all of those things, and that helps you reach a whole new audience right there. And I understand that, again, it's old, it's legacy media, right? It's not exactly the new hottest trend. But when you have a TV partner that's supposed to be as special as NBC and as Fox is, you should try to utilize that as much as you can. And then the fact that they didn't get him onto a late show, Fallon or whatever else, Again, kind of is unfathomable considering the actor strike is happening. There's not a ton of people out there promoting projects right now. Ryan Blaney is a perfect guy to sit down in front of a late night host. He has a good sense of humor. He's willing to act and probably do dumb things. Jimmy Fallon is what I'm thinking of here. He's an easy talker. He understands his position in the sport. He understands who he is and he understands the sport as a whole. And he's a good catalyst to try to reach out to this new demographic that NASCAR desperately needs to capture. And again, I get it. It's all legacy media right here. People are like, nobody's watching those. We're not trying to capture the stay-at-home moms, everything like that. I I'm not disagreeing with that. But you guys also have to remember, too, that the Today Show is shown in airports, hospitals, waiting rooms, car dealerships. It's on literally everywhere. It's between that and Sports Center, that's about and maybe like a CNN. That's what you're going to see in most public places. So having him on that show is not a bad idea by any means, and they didn't do it. Now what they should be doing is offering to pay to, if you have to pay to place him onto one of these shows, onto a part of my take or another big sports podcast, you go ahead and you cut the check because you need to grow these drivers up in the stars, and you're not doing that by doing live with Kelly and Mark or going to the Empire State Building. That's just not happening. And you should be out here promoting your champion. And I saw somebody comment earlier on a Twitter post that I had, and they said, why would you want to promote a guy when your sport's not going to be running for the next two and a half months? You're right. Yeah, you're right. Why would they ever want to promote the champion of their sport? Because no other sport in the world has ever had their champions go on to any sort of talk shows, late night shows, or anything like that to promote their sport. They don't have Olympians come on to shows to promote a sport that you're not going to be able to watch again for another four years. They never do things like that. It's about creating a brand recognition. It's about connecting a face to a sport, to a brand, and that's what they should be doing with Ryan Blaney, and it's exactly what they didn't do. It's really unfortunate. 
What they could do is pay to have him play with a Twitch streamer. Find the biggest one. I don't know. I don't watch Twitch streams, but I know a ton of kids do. Why don't you do that? Why don't you have him go out there and do that? I saw somebody mention that like having NASCAR skins in Fortnite would be great to connect with younger people. Again, never played Fortnite. Sounds like a great idea. Go ahead and do it. They obviously do stuff with Rocket League. Put Blaney's car in Rocket League. Do all of that. Have him show up in places where traditional NASCAR champions and traditional NASCAR media doesn't go. Try to capture these 18 to 49 year old demo, preferably in that 18 to like 35 demo. That would be fantastic that they could start to try to capture that. But you can't do that if you're not putting your biggest assets and your biggest stars out in front of it and trying to grow them into stars. So instead, we get the typical Ryan Blaney thing. Uh, with NASCAR is they're like, oh, we put him out in front of a couple things here and it's good to go. See you all at the Coliseum in February. And maybe they will have him do some stuff in February as we get closer to the Clash and closer to the 500. But why not try to capture some of that now? Ratings were down bad. And right now you need to try to get your sport in front of literally every single person that's willing to watch. And maybe when the NASCAR Netflix docuseries comes out, maybe they'll do a big marketing push behind that and have Blaney and others go out and, and start to promote it. And hopefully, hopefully, that series helps grow some of these guys up into bigger stars because at least it will now be a docuseries that's accessible. NASCAR's champ drive to the championship or whatever they did on USA last year was actually really well done. One of the better things that NASCAR media has put out in quite some time. But unfortunately, nobody got to watch it because it was on like Thursday nights at 10 o'clock on USA going up against Thursday night football and at a time slot where nobody's watching it. And then by the time it got on Peacock, it was over with. Nobody cared anymore. And then the championship episode, they just didn't do one. They added in like an extra five minutes on the end of the week's prior episode. Just a complete failure uh, on that part. Good intentions, but a failure. And this isn't to say that NASCAR doesn't want to grow their drivers up in the stars and everything that goes along with that. It's just me being a little critical and being like, there's more that you guys can do here. And it's just a passion thing, right? We all want to see the sport grow. Everybody that's watching this, everybody that watches NASCAR each week wants to see the sport continue to grow because at their current pace, the amount of viewers that they're losing and the amount of market share that they're dropping down in is alarming and it should be alarming. And when you see NASCAR go out and do things that are, you know, underwhelming, to say the least, it's kind of, it's a bummer. We all want to see this succeed. We all want to see the sport succeed. And having more eyes and more viewers is the easiest way to get that done because more viewers, higher ratings, means more money coming into the sport, meaning more sponsors want to spend their money in the sport, which we all want to tune into every single week. So it's a bummer that NASCAR wasn't able to get Ryan Blaney onto bigger shows, bigger outlets, and get him in front of more people than the, just maybe their traditional audience. Hopefully things happen differently when we get towards the Daytona 500 or maybe a little bit more through the off season. But what we've seen in their media tour was underwhelming at best. So like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.